Here we are on the Navy Pier in Chicago for WEEC 2011, the 34th Annual World Energy Congress, which is all about workshops and training, but we're here for the exhibits. And what you're going to see from us on exhibit will definitely make you smarter. Certainly cooler and perhaps a little richer because it will get you thinking and saving green right, exactly. with some facts about lighting like these LED luminaire retrofits that save $38 per fixture. $38 per fixture. It's all right there. I don't have to write this stuff. Well, it does need some explaining. These things replace common incandescence or fluorescence in exit signs. So it's, it's right up there. There it is. Oh, yeah. So that's this version, which has the driver internal. And then oh. this thing goes together with this as an external driver. Yeah, I get you. Okay. They're UL approved for exit signs. And they can also be used as under cabinet lights in the ZX series. Aren't they nice? Okay, this looks like an under cabinet light too, but it's a ceiling troffler made by Cree. This bar separator is a heat sink, and it feels warm, cooling the LED luminars within. A distributor at the show claims a 2.5 year return on investment versus conventional fluorescence with this bright and attractive fixture. Hey, and I gotta believe them. Uh, Cree's a leader, and my CR6s are already paid for. And now they're making them even better. More compact and deeper dimming. No flicker, no skip. This is the top stuff. you should Bring them back up. You can buy these Cree can inserts at our Get Green TV website. And just a few steps from here, we are outside looking at LED luminaires like these from Rab, making them affordable, durable, weatherproof, and efficient with little tiny LED illuminators. These outdoor fixtures are built to last, providing overhead pole and building mounted lighting designed to withstand the test of time. They are strong and well built. And their choice of LED provides brightness that's blindingly good. And here's some more outdoor lighting. It's an LED street light made here in Wisconsin and it's blindingly bright too so let's not go there the fins are on the side in a horizontal direction to reduce cooling loss from bird droppings let's take a closer look at the LEDs there's a lot of them and they're covered with a special optic quality lens that disperses light more evenly and that's a people sensor that turns off the brightness when it's needed at night and this people sensor works on this stairwell light, making it brighter. People are near. Here's another retrofit insert from the back with its massive, passive cooling fins. There's two sizes or types here. Perhaps this one has some kind of people sensor too. For obvious use outdoors to save energy costs. These are by LED Technology Partners. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Looks like all kinds of outdoor lighting fixtures here. This is new and interesting. It's induction lighting. Let's listen to see what this is all about. If you look at fluorescent, but it's also referred to as the electroless lamp. Uh, like fluorescent lights, right. they have the little electrodes, electrodes. Right. Okay. when they spark, they ignite the gases. Right. Here, you don't have electrodes, and so you don't have uh, you don't have anything to spark, and no that basically sparking. what wears out. No noise. Fluorescent. Oh, really? So here, you have a long life naturally because you don't have the little electrodes. If you notice on fluorescents where it grays on the end, yeah. and it starts to do that. Yeah. Um, that's basically kind of wearing out the lamp. Okay. And every time you turn it on and off. You take a little chunk out of the life of a fluorescent. Oh, I see. Because so, you're wearing out the electrodes. Essentially. 
All these fixtures are using these inductor lights that last 10 times longer and use less energy. They all use mercury, and they are breakable, but they are cheaper alternative to LEDs. Pretty amazing. Everybody's had their dance with the new girl, and uh, I don't know, it doesn't go as well as it Oh, yeah, huh? You got a vac closed vacuum tube. Positive negative magnet creates an electron cyclone, solid state processor. Do you have one of those things where you kick this off and that's where the mercury is or yeah. no? Well, yeah, everybody just like these. Yeah. Oh, you just chop it off and throw that away and the rest it's of it. It's a solid, it's it, an amalgam. At it, the, it the end of life, that's what is on the inside. Oh, wow. For retrofit. For like street lighting. Oh, really? Interesting. You know, walkway lighting. Perhaps you heard our conversation. The mercury disposal is not an issue with induction tubes because the mercury is totally consumed in its use or removed upon disposal with that little glass tab we saw. And here's a perfect application. A cobra head street light. The bulb is housed separately in this weatherproof enclosure. You can also see the well-protected solid-state controller right there towards the back. It's induction lighting, a green solution that drives dollars to the bottom line by American green technology. Pretty cool. Here's some induction lighting for indoor high bay fixtures. Well, it's a lot more efficient than fluorescent. This is a 100,000 hour um, life expectancy. It replaces this less efficient mercury vapor lamp that looks pretty toxic. And here's a smaller induction bulb that looks pretty neat, I think. And Mr. Fitzgerald is also showing us the lowest cost replacement option for a mercury vapor, this massive CFL. It screws in the existing socket and uses line voltage. Pretty cool. And speaking of cool, this guy's getting it. The head full of wind from your first pick for energy conservation the air pair thermal equalizer for uniform temperature control it saves energy by moving air to lower the cost of high ceilings like these zoo fans both of these were obviously very popular exhibits Perhaps fitting for us here in Chicago, the Windy City, on the Navy Pier, surrounded by water, which is being saved here in this big square black tank. Water from the roof filters through some kind of media that looks like a sponge. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Soaking it all up for use on a sunny day. When you use a solar panel to wring it all out and there were lots of solar panels on exhibit at the show but this one was the best it's passive letting in the sun as a controllable skylight these movable blinds control the amount and insulate at night i'm a video blogger hey we're almost out of time again so let's wrap it up with a look at this pedal powered green machine that made us scratch our head and wonder all about the green products we've seen here and that are offered by this company that's exhibiting this goal one called fister and of course you can see more led inductor lights solar and rainwater harvesting at our website getgreentv.com be sure to subscribe at youtube and share this video with others